Hey guys, I'm to talk to you here. We're going to see Road GP this time. 10 red lights for the Matecki Grand Prix is underway. We're on for position. No qualified for this one. Right, heading into turn one, well, then it's going to be tricky. Late apex. Turn one, is anyone going to send on the inside like they did in Thailand? No, Chris is inside. He's going to be patient here this time. There's a crash by the back. Two riders are down. Trick Nick. And I think it's JJ collected in the pile up there. J uh, Chris is the only other person to get through that turn one without a crash. Unlucky for those two. But early on, we're in the gravel trap straight away at turn three, I think that one is. Now it's turn four. Oh, we have to come across the inside there. We need to get ourselves into a rhythm here. Now Chris is surely going to attack here into his right hander. Because we're not in a rhythm yet. You'd think that he would have to go for it. Yes, he is. He's got in too deep. He's knocked me off the track and he's crashed me. Chris, again, risking everything to knock me off to try and get away with it. He did it in Thailand. Thailand was a bit more accidental because he was tucking the front. But that time... That was just abuse, in my opinion. <laughs> I think abuse is the wrong word to use there, but we'll go with it. Now, heading into this right-hander. Chris making his way up through the pack as well. We're down at turn 10 now. The front end says, no, you don't on the grass. Got to try and get that corner right. It's only lap two. And we've already uh, hit the deck twice now. We are still leading this Grand Prix by quite a margin of 12 seconds. So we don't actually have to push right now. We can just, oh, just keep the gap, I suppose. But it is early on, I want to push, I want to extend the gap. And just as I say that, we do to the left, right, and we've tucked the front again. Okay, we need to stop crashing here in this Grand Prix. Chris is now up past JJ, as JJ's tucked the front further back. Not sure where JJ's crashed, probably turn 10. It's uh, where I'm thinking JJ maybe crashed on turn 11. Right, now we've got a lap under our belt. What is the lap time going to be? Crossing the line, it's a fast lap of the Grand Prix on 47.9. That's a very decent lap time around with Tiggy, and I'm sure he can smash that later on as the race pace and the fuel load will come down. 10.4 seconds is the gap, and uh, it's now 11 seconds. We are extending the gap in the right direction on lap 4 now, heading through into turn 9, the, the place where Lorenzo lost his championship a few years back. And in fact, turn 10, this right hander where a lot of the riders lost the championship. Sam Lowe's lost his championship here, and Valentino Rossi a few years back, and we're back down on the deck. Right, that is not a corner only talking about the championship and losing it because we are fighting this championship versus uh, Chris. And whoever wins this race, well, if I win this race, I could put the uh, margin down to like five or six points. Heading through this fast left, right once again. On the throttle, the I've had a high side. The rear says, no, you don't on the exit and we're on the floor. How far back is Chris now? I can see that black marker of Chris. He's on the straight. Chris is going to retake the Inns Grand Prix. Yes, he does. Chris takes the Inns Grand Prix for the first time. I've not led this lap on lap, on lap five. And um, well, let's see what Chris has got then. Heading into turn one and turn two. Going wide onto the Asher turf. We just need to get ourselves back into a rhythm here. That is going to be my plan A from now. Now, lap six. We actually catch up to Chris. This is the corner he knocked me off before. I was thinking about knocking him off here. But you know what? We're too nice for that. We're going to be a uh, sportsmanship here. I'll do the bridge again. Chris basically brake testers us there. I don't really know what he did. He just left off the throttle or something or I got a great drive. So Chris once again, me and him making more contact in this Grand Prix. We're going to chuck it up the inside of turn seven though. He ran wide and we have taken full advantage of that to retake the lead of this Grand Prix. Now is Chris going to try and find a cut back away through here? Not through the fast left, right. What about turn nine? It's a tricky left hander. Is Chris going to be there or thereabouts? No, he's not. So we have retaken the lead of this Grand Prix. Let's go. Eyes forward. Moving on to half race distance now, we're catching up to a back marker who had crashed down at turn one. Well, turn one, turn two, because the JG I think lost it and took out Trick. So let's see what those two have got. JJ saying that he's back on the deck. We need to clear this back marker rather quickly. Turn nine, there's contact between the pair of us. I've had to cut across the Asher turf there. That actually gave me a bit of a penalty and it lost me a lot of time as well. So I wonder if Chris could uh, try and regain some confidence back to recatch me after that moment with uh, Trick there, who probably should have got out of the way. He was a back marker after all. Now, out of this final quarter. Oh, I can see that Trick also held up uh, Chris a little bit, so it's pretty fair. 1.5 seconds is the gap then. Can we still extend this uh, lead, or will will Chris catch us? Well, a few laps later on, on lap 9, going to the fast left right again. I hate this like, fast left right. We finally get it nailed though, and pinned to the apex. Coming to the line, is it a new fastest lap? Is it improving my lap time? Yes, it is a 47 4 now. So we are extending, well, we're extending the lead and extending our fastest laps here. So the race pace is looking good. If we could just keep it up on two wheels. Out of turn one and turn two, we go on the limit there on lap 10. Now lap 11. Just got to make sure now we keep this gap to uh, Chris. The gap is pretty big now. We have uh, extended our lead quite massively into this tricky turn five. Right-hander 
on the exit. You have to be careful. I'm not careful enough. The front wheel comes up and then we back down on the deck. Oh, I've let go of the bike and it's chucked me on the deck. That is not what I needed until how far back is Chris? I don't think Chris is close enough, so we are going to keep the leaders Grand Prix, but our lead is shrinking to 3.2 seconds now. Last lap of the race, so we should. Well, pump breaking the bike, should we say, with the fronts, and then the rear brake also being activated. But I think just enough, we're going to hold on to this Grand Prix. We have got penalties, but Chris is not going to be close enough through the final analysis one last time. Round the last corner we go, on to the start, finish straight to win. We're taking Japanese Grand Prix. Let's go! Another win on the bounce as well after Thailand's win. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are closing in that points gap. It's now like one point separating us. Have a great extra day and goodbye.